Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we're totally checking out the brand new NECA toys, The Wrath of Krang, and of course Splinter vs. Baxter box set. Very cool artwork, first and foremost, on The Wrath of Krang set. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original logo, and then you have this gorgeous artwork that of course is very reminiscent of the old FHE VHS tapes. Who remembers renting those from the old... I never could buy them. I had to rent them all the time. But again, nice photos of the figure on the inside flap. And of course, you open it up. little Velcro action. You get to see the Android and Krang and all the goodies inside the side of the box. Wrath of Krang, NECA. Artwork on the back is just stellar. You got the turtles in their blimp, which just works from the last episode of the initial season one of the turtle screen grab this if you want to go ahead and read it and then also here is everyone that had their hand in designing this and shout out to specifically dan elson that was some amazing amazing illustrations right there same thing with splinter and baxter though you get some good line art right in the front baxter stockman splinter right there nice window packaging you can see everything and anything that this set comes with which we'll get into in just a second it's quite a bit the usual bio paragraph on the back of the box just fyi nothing new and here's the barcode again if you want to go ahead and grab it and again everybody who had their hand in making this so this is going to be fun and again thank you to NECA toys they actually sent me the splinter and the baxter for a nice holiday gift so thank you for that sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new NECA toys target exclusive cartoon ninja turtles the wrath of krang krang's android body and the box set Splinter versus Baxter Stockman. Try and here they all are out of the packaging. And as with most all of the Ninja Turtles that NECA designs, they are quite amazing. No joke. This is looks like they stepped right out of the cartoon series. Splinter, I mean, he looks like 2D brought to life. 3D, the Baxter Stockman with the retro mutagen generator ray gun you got shredder as a fly shredder as a baby you got all kinds of shredder packings and then the krang's android body is insane that is so cool to have just an amazing representation of that that is so freaking rad to finally have on our shelves but let's go ahead and start off with the splinter and baxter stockman set again as i've already said i mean look at the paint detail on this it's the cartoon brought to life. I got no qualms with this and all the accessories that are packed into this box. You got multiple hands, you got retro mutagen rays, you got retro mutagen generator guns and splinter staff and a medallion, the Z computer, right? The evil or kind of evil space computer. You got a sword, flames on it from a very specific episode. Michelangelo is a gerbil. You got a rat friend, books. Man, they just piled it on and I love this evil computer's face it's like that little you know hologram thing. that's cool I, I love that they did that starting it off with splinter heavy black lines that really make this a cartoon I like the cloth goods his bendy wire tail works really well it's also on a hinge you don't need much else I mean he's holding his staff that's basically splinter in and of itself also he comes with a giant floor mat right it's a nice material it's specifically for splinter and just kind of training the turtle. i mean the fact that they put this in the box too shows the attention to detail that NECA does it's amazing and i love seeing photos like this you got the retro mitogen gun that shredder was going to use on the turtles and then splinter threw his staff and you know ruined his chances of returning back to human but it's an accessory for shredder that's pretty cool this i totally forget now eh, you can help me out in the comments below i remember vaguely something i don't know you can help me out but it's got a flame and sword that's kind of cool it just fits right onto the tip of the sword good old baxter stockman again this is one of those characters where having as a playmates toys now having it as the actual cartoon iteration and they're making the video game baxter stockman we're gonna be loaded up with baxter stockmans right but He's the perfect size. He comes with that gun, you know, that the computer gives him. It's got all the different animals, and he can mutate you on a whim. Does he turn, you know, Mikey into a gerbil? 
which is ridiculous. Again, Megan doesn't have to put the stuff in the box, but it's these little extras that really make this. He's got movable wings and the little arms on his backside. All of it's on a hinge. The, <laughs> the cell shading on this is rad. The eyes, the red eyes, the green mouth, the hair, the computer, how they kind of did that. This is kind of cool on the underside. Looks like a port. Maybe we'll be getting something later on, like a Tectodrome or something. Who knows? That'd be awesome. Gang. Then you also got the Shredder fly. Shredder gets turned into a fly at one point in the series. Yeah, never showed him coming back, but apparently they used the ray on him. Who knows? And while you guys are here, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, deals on sales on Amazon, yada yada. I guarantee you, you'll find something here that you like. Up next, let's check out Krang's Android Body, one of my favorite figures of the year. It's only January. It comes in three separate pieces, you could kind of say. You got a brand new offering for Krang. This, you can see inside it, he's got two little levers for the mechanism to control the body. Krang has a little porthole on the bottom of him, much like the original Krang, Playmates Toys figure. And he just fits right in the body. It's really nice. And you put the other half of the body right on top. Fits in there snugly. Stays put. Bingo, bango. You got yourself Krang's android body. It's alive. And what an amazing job they did on this guy. The black lines are there. All the weapons. All the little portholes, exhaust <laughs> details. The, I don't know, the railing. That he, I don't know. It's weird. But he's got the little exhaust port on his butt. <laughs> Again, the attention to detail, it's the character from the cartoon brought to life. And he comes with a slew of accessories, much like Splinter and Baxter Stockman. That's what I like about these. They sculpt so many extra little parts and pieces. It's just fantastic. You got weapons. You got one of the coolest, it makes for the character, like one of the funniest moments from the cartoon. Extra hands. Ray guns, Shredder as a baby, gets turned into a baby, he got soap on a rope, blueprints, a towel, they just went to town. This is a great, this is a complete character action figure right here. Everything and anything that you would need from a number of specific episodes, it's all in there. Same if you didn't have the wings. If you could have the wings, if they extra, you know, we'll see. But this is from an episode where somehow he just... Kind of gets ball chain arms. He just does it, pops them off. Doesn't make a lick of sense, right? He's also got these blades and saw blade. This actually rotates as well. He's got little laser cannons that fit in. That's another thing. And they're all painted nicely. But as I was talking about, all the things are there to make it so that Krang and his android body just got out of the shower. Hands down, the best part about this set. That is absolutely amazing. How do they all scale together? Well, with Bad Guys, Rock City Bebop, Stockman, Shredder, the straight from the 80s, baby. 80s represent. That is quite just the setup of villains right there. Splinter with the Turtles, they look great as well. Love having the Rat Sensei now to go with the previous four Turtles. You couldn't ask for better figures to represent the old cartoon. This is what we've wanted to see for years. And... I did pick up one of the Super 7 Mutagen Mans. Yeah, fits too if you'd like to kind of mix and match. I will be for the most part, but I am going full-blown NECA toys in all their TMNT endeavors because these are just too friggin' good from the video games, the cartoons, to the movies. Here's some variations for Splinter, original Playmates, the new Playmates one that's made to look like the comic book. Over the years, Krang and the previous NECA Krang and the Bubble Walker, you can see... The distinct difference between the two, Krang's got a lot more crazy face going on in the Bubble Walker, but the fact that we have the Bubble Walker is amazing. I just absolutely, the, these are just flat out amazing Krang figures. The old Playmates toys never had the larger one, always wanted that one, but you can see it's just fun and you can remove this Krang out of his little stomach if you wanted to do so as well. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys TMNT Target exclusive figures. The paint on these things are fantastic. Now I have seen that not always is that the case. However, these to me and how I see them are art pieces. Yes, you can pose them, you can have articulation. The articulation's fantastic on all of them, but like most of these, go easy on them. That's all I can tell you, is that I'm not sitting there 
throwing these things around, smashing them together. I take them out of the box, set them on my shelf. Sometimes I switch out the parts, and that's really what it is. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Will you be picking them up? Have you already gotten them? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything NECA toys, Target Turtles, and more video games, movies, whatever. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending over the Splinter and the Baxter set. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to 2021, I cannot wait to see what characters they're bringing to us. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.